did you go about discovering your style in leadership and, and making an impact um, with your own style? Yeah, that's um, similar to that point I said uh, just before about how I set up feedback. Um, feedback hasn't been something that's really come to me naturally. Um, like a one-on-one -on -one coffee, really getting into the nitty gritty about how someone's performing. Um, that is, it's a, that's as tough as a human conversation you can have to a point, especially in a working environment where um, I'll pick out a random example. Let's go a pass by so no one gets offended. Let's say Nathan Jones, like his heart and soul is to perform on the football field. And I'm going to give him some feedback about how I don't think he's doing that the right way. Like that's a tough conversation for both people. Um, so to have that relationship um, building, uh, is certainly that's one thing. Um, and I felt like that was always a strength of mine is being able to get that relationship before um, those conversations. Is it a matter of, you mentioned that you're learning every day. Is it a matter of the more experiences you have by putting yourself out there, getting out of your comfort zone and having those conversations, the better leader you become? Yeah, I've got, I've got a, a really um, in-depth journal that I have at home, which I, I constantly um, write in with things that have happened that day, um, that week. And my old, like I get, I get a little bit of anxiety built up about how I deliver stuff some, sometimes. Um, so I record that and 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 go through why would I've had that ang that anxiety built built up. Um, was it the right environment? Like all sorts of things. In, in the end, my my sort of motto as a captain is to create the safest environment possible for people to flourish as themselves. Um, so every day if I come home and go, I did that again, or I didn't do that again. And I'd work on, oh, what didn't I do? What does leadership mean to you? What does leadership mean to me? Yeah. Um, I mean, there's, I'll answer this in two different ways. One as a leader and two, uh, as aspiring to be people that are leaders in my life. Um, I think personally, like my motto of creating the safe environment, like it's a leader in, I'm trying to be a non-ego um, that is literally putting pillars up to be able to create the safest environment possible. Um, both, and that's, I'm not, I'm talking footy, but I'm also, I feel like I've got a bit of leadership in my own family. Um, that's the same thing uh, in my, in my house as well. The safest environment for my son, who's now 14 months, um, to be able to live the best life as George Gorn. Um, that's something. And then I get that. Uh, from my parents, my 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 dad's certainly the leader in my life. Psychological safety. Where did you start to really value that as to something that you feel that is so important um, as a leader to to make sure that your environment has that psychological safety? Is it something because you've experienced uh, being as a player that you know where you don't feel safe in in the football club environment, or is it just something you've seen that seems to correlate well with performance or, or how players you know enjoy the, the, the oh, process? Certainly, and I, I, uh, comfortability it can be bad. Comfortable in in this in this workplace in this industry, um, but being comfortable in your own skin, um, that's certainly something that I reckon performance is just it goes like that. Like Christian Petraka, it's hard enough playing AF, AFL. Imagine trying to play AFL if Christian Petraka is trying to be Travis Boak. Like he's trying to be someone else. Christian Petraka is the best player of football of Christian Petraka is when he's being Christian Petraka. So to be comfortable in your own skin. How do you how do you go about empowering them to sort of find their own way through their own journey through making mistakes and rather than just sort of copy who they think they should be like? How do you sort of empower them to? So I imagine that can be challenging at a young age yeah. for, for them to. Everyone's got their own journey, but how do you sort of do you influence? Do you try and accelerate that, or is it more just everyone's just got to work it out uh, at their own uh, time? I mean, you'd like a natural workout. Um, you'd like them to be able to, yeah, naturally become the person they want to be. Um, sometimes you do need to show some little fast track around, especially the values. So the one thing that you strip it all back, leadership can be so messy and you try and do this, that, this, that, just strip it back. We've got four values. I try and, I try and install those values. I try and behave those values personally. And we just talk those values. We we nut out what those values mean. Like if four words on a wall, like that's that could mean anything to anyone. Um, so what does it mean to Melbourne? And then what does it mean to that young player as well and trying to find a happy balance between the two? 